beautiful day. So I should get up and go to the beach. No, Corona. Too crowded. I should get a plane and go on an... No, no flights. I deserve a break and have an idea. I'm gonna make my bed look so awesome that it's gonna look like being in a hotel on vacation all year long. Yes, I agree with you. These headboards look insane, and I'm gonna teach you how to make them. What you're gonna need is this fluffy material that I can't remember the name right now, but you're gonna have linked in the description box here below. It has to be super soft because it's where you're gonna put your head. In my case, it was enough two meters times one. Then you are gonna need fabric. For my bed frame that was 150, I got one meter 50 times 260, and then the wood that you can be a crazy head and decide to cut it on your own or just buy the perfect size that you need. If you wanna cut it, safety first. Mask, glasses, cause wood is gonna be everywhere. Let's start. This is my absolute first experience with a jigsaw and the first attempt was a failure. Then I understood you just have to place it on a wall so that it doesn't move and you can just go straight and the job is so much easier. Second time I didn't even measure, I just placed the one that I already cut on top of the other one and followed the lines. And then I used a little table to make the roundings on top of the headboard because we want this round soft touch on the top. Place the jigsaw, go in, cut it all out. After that we made our entire living room look like a beach. <laughs> It's time to clean up everything and then pass to the crafty but way easier part of the DIY. We are gonna find ourselves with these pieces of wood that I decided to round on the sides. It's gonna give it more soft touch to the bedroom. But you can totally decide to leave it as square so you don't have to cut the wood at all. And here, I show you some apartments where they use this effect as square and it still looks awesome. Then you're gonna have to cut all this fluffy puffy part to fit it to your pieces of wood one by one. The wooden bars and the soft material have to be more or less the same size. We want to have, in this case, 18 centimeters of the wood frame and 19 instead of the soft material. And the height, instead, I wanted it three centimeters more than the wood, so to have a soft headboard where to put the head and not feel the wood on our head. I just mark the line, follow the book, and then cut away all the material. Then placed on top the shape that I had done several times so that I wouldn't have to mark it and just followed it all the way up. Uh, cutting this is very not much fun, so I just decided to go ahead and use YouTube magic. Time for the last step. We have to now cut the fabric in a way bigger chunk compared to the wood because we are going to use it for the front and a little bit of the back. So we're going to use 18 centimeters of the wood. Instead, it's 32 of material that we're going to need. Mark the dimension that you need, cut it out, and then for all the rest of the shapes, you can just use the same trick. Place it on top, follow the line, way easier. Go ahead all the way like this, yeah! Yes, we're cutting it out. Once you have all three of the elements of this DIY ready, you're just gonna have to use them as a sandwich. First the material, then the soft side, then the wood. Fold the bottom and staple it on top of it, and then you're gonna have to do it on the sides. You're gonna have to pull with strength in order to make a more rounded corner, because if we would just use it as it is, it would be more squared, and we want it more rounded on the side. Pull so, with your fingers, make it tight as possible, and then staple the life out of it. Here, both sides on the corners till we arrive all the way to the top where instead we have to be a bit more careful because we want to give a rounded effect. I wanna show you how. Differently from the bottom, we're not gonna just pull over from the bottom up to cover the wood. We're gonna have to do it from the corner like this, making little pinches on the side and then making a little angle, like a little triangle on the corner it. And then using the middle side that instead became like one big flap, to cover it on top. Again, you wanna pull it and make it tight so that also the top becomes round. I remember you that we gave it three centimeters extra on the top, so this one is gonna fold on top of the wood. Ah, yeah, this is me, absolutely shocked and so surprised because it actually worked out. You're gonna see me here just getting off from the chair, running to the other room to jump on the bed and explain to my boyfriend that I'm a genius. Ooh, right, back to work. For the taller parts, I finally figured out that if you stay in this super weird position while cutting, it's way easier. Basically, you have to pull the fabric apart while you're doing it. The taller sides are 110. In my case, you could do it as tall as you want and always wide 18. Here, I show you even better how to use the technique to round the borders. 
you want to put the finger under the fabric and then pull it all the way up making this circular effect pressing with your fingers then you staple it in and you go all the way to the top where again you do this little triangular on both sides pin one triangle on the other side and then flap on the top here we go oh, i want to be honest i think this is the coolest thing i've ever done in my life i never actually built something from zero about furniture usually i just get things and change them change the handles or something change the shape make it shorter taller change the color this is actually building something from zero and i'm super excited i'm so proud of me okay last step we're gonna have to put them all backwards and then use the long lines on the back to connect them all together make sure to space them as you really desire them to have the final size and then just screw it all in and the result is amazing i absolutely love it and i can't wait to go and try to build it up on the bed left to do is to enjoy your super high class headboard that is going to transform completely your bedroom see you next time <laughs>